hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel i'm bringing you a follow-up on the issue about africans being mistreated by chinese officials as you may have already seen from various sources our african leaders haven't taken this issue lightly at all they have gone to the chinese embassies the chinese officials to register their displeasure in so many ways as a result of this china on realizing that their diplomatic relationship with africa which the a continent that they have so much interest in is becoming sour they have made a total u-turn and they have gone to visit they have reinstated our african brothers and sisters in china back into their homes some of them are receiving gift items from their landlords who have initially thrown them out on the streets they are now being given special treatments and giving gifts from the chinese government in consolation for the initial uh, uh, experience that they put them through i don't know what you make of this well that's just what is happening right now and honestly um there have been a couple of chinese nationals who some of them are living here in africa and others are living in china but they have experiences with african uh, people they have lived with african people they know how africans are and so they have come out just by themselves to issue apologies on behalf of their government for the way they have treated their African friend. Hello guys, how are you? I'm Nai Chao. I'm from Shenzhen. 前段时间我在网上看到一些关于广州非洲朋友的一些评论和一些事情，非常遗憾听到这个。但是我在评论里看到有些朋友说这是政府的行为，对此我坚决反对。呃，我觉得只是一些个别的商店，因为在广州有成千上。百万个商店，但是为什么是麦当劳？而且麦当劳也是美国的公司，所以说这很奇怪。我自己本人也有很多非洲的朋友，他们都非常好，我也非常喜欢他们。他们在中国生活的都很好。嗯，对。最后我希望大家能够理性的看待这件事情。呃，我希望所有的非洲朋友在中国都能够开心快乐，呃、好好的工作生活。Here is one more apology from another Chinese national to Africans apologizing on behalf of his people for the treatment that they had to go through. And he says that he, he likes, he loves Africans and he loves everything in Africa except the African government, which I agree with. No, thank you. We don't need such a such a thing. We don't. 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 No, we can take the paper, but it is okay. No, it's okay. Thank you. Don't need it. Thank you. 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 Thank You can remove only the thermometer to give us. No, we have mass. We have mass. So you give us only the thermometer. The thermometer is okay, but the gift, okay. Okay. Ah, thank you, my man. Okay, thank you. We don't want to go back. We don't want to go back. Thank you, my man. Thank you. We don't want to go back. Thank you. Bye-bye. This is for the document for the... Okay. What, the, what, what about this one? What is this? We cannot do Chinese. 
I have this one in my phone. It's okay. Thank you. The thermometer, only the thermometer is okay. Yes, we don't need it. We don't need this one. We take it. You carry. Also, this is another video of Chinese doctors giving food and flowers to African nationals that they have quarantined without any reason they have been quarantined for days they have tested them over and over again the tests have come out negative and they have still been kept in the hotels and in the hospitals they are now being given food and flowers and it has been recorded on live tv it's been aired on live tv for the world to see so what i make of all this is that China is making a U-turn because of how our diplomats have reacted. They are making a U-turn in order for them not to mar the relationship they enjoy with Africans. I say hashtag Africans beware. Thanks for watching.